back! So, wala lang. Today, mag-aana lang tayo. Mag-makeup lang tayo. We're gonna get a little bit creative. And yung buong look na to is inspired by the strokes na Crush Blush in Fatal. So, ito yung favorite ko ngayon na blush. Kasi kaka-review ko lang sa kanya. And wala, I fell in love with the shade talaga. Yung Fatal na shade. Kasi it's very unique. Kakaiba siya sa market natin dito sa Philippines. Kaya, as you can see, purple yung background natin. And this look is gonna be a purple look. So, if you want to see me do yung purple look na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina using some of my favorite makeup products, just keep on watching the video. So, for primer, gagamitin ko yung Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. O, oh, di ba? Purple din siya. Ito, isa sa mga favorite na primers ko to. It's a little bit expensive. Pero, it has skincare ingredients din kasi. I like this better compared to the original na Tatcha silk canvas, yung parang balm na ewan. Kasi yun, mas drying siya. So, ito, mas pinofocus ko lang siya dito sa center ng face ko. Ewan ko kung nakikita siya sa camera, pero it adds a blurring effect while protecting din yung skin nyo. Yun yung sinasabi niya. I see the blurring effect and ang ganda ng lapat talaga ng foundation on top of this. Diba? Kita ba na parang may blurring effect? Eh, basta meron. Tapos, it's more hydrating kasi liquid form siya. Yan, ganun lang. Sobrang konti lang nilagay ko. Tapos, for foundation, super gusto ko yung mix ng self-coding foundation with the Make Up Forever Reboot Foundation. Ang ganda nung mix nila kasi yung reboot is more hydrating, tapos less coverage siya. Tapos yung self-coding naman, it adds the coverage pero hindi siya masyadong nag add ng cakiness or anything like that kasi ang liquid pa rin ng form niya. Very runny pa rin. Ang dali nila i-blend sa face. Ang ganda nung mix na may hydrating factor with the coverage. So, for the self-coding foundation, I mix both shades, yung medium and yung sumunod na shade sa medium. I'll just post it here para makita nyo. Minimix ko yung tatlong foundation na to and I feel like yun yung perfect shade ko din. So, ito yung lagi ko ginagamit if I want something more glam or mas may coverage than my usual tint. If nanonood kayo ng channel ko, alam nyo na lagi ako nagko-color correct. And right now, isa sa mga favorite color correctors ko is the Bright Fix from Fenty Beauty in the shade Peach. Kasi peach yung nagka-cancel out ng gray. And yung under eyes ko is more on that ano, parang bluish gray tone siya. So yeah, I use the shade Peach and I love this kasi sobrang thin lang nung formula niya. Kaya hindi siya drying and hindi siya cakey tignan. I use a very little amount tapos tira-tap-tap-tap ko lang siya ng fingers ko to melt it into the skin. And skin-like pa rin yung itsura niya but it cancels out yung dark circles. And dahil nga nag-color correct na tayo, we need a very little amount of concealer na lang just to brighten up the under eyes. And and your favorite ko right now to use is the BLK Life Proof Airy Concealer in the shade Cream or Cream. Hindi ako sure pa paano basahin. For this one, I use a very little amount lang and then I blend it with my sponge para ma-absorb yung any excess product. Before we set the under eyes, ipaprime ko lang yung eyes ko and I love using yung NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Custard. So, binili ko to originally for my under eyes but I find it a little bit too drying for me. So, I used it as a primer na lang on my eyes, parang yung back paint pots, kung ano yung ginagawa nun. Ginamit ko siya as that and I find that it's just perfect. Hindi naman siya drying or hindi naman siya nag-oil up sa lids ko. So, I just get a very little amount. Hindi mas masyadong madami. And then, I use it to even out my lids. Now, to set our under eyes tsaka yung lids natin, I'm gonna be using the Essie and Co. Loose Powder in Radiant. Ano yun? Illuminating! Hindi pala Radiant. In Illuminating. So, before natin siya iset, make sure lang natin nung walang mga creases. And then, we set it with minimal powder lang. Take note, minimal lang. Huwag masyadong madami para di masyadong mag-cake up. Though, yung powder naman na to, it doesn't cake up. Kaya siya isa sa mga favorites ko. This one and the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Sila yung pinagpapalit-palit ko kasi sila yung dalawang loose powders na favorite ko. And now, favorite part ko ng makeup look is eyeshadow kasi this is where I can get more creative. And I love, 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 love the Tasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. I know it's a little bit expensive pero kinokollect ko talaga yung mga eyeshadow palettes niya. Not everything naman. Kung nagugustuhan ko lang talaga yung color story ng mga palettes, I really get them kasi lalang. 
Mahilig talaga ako sa eyeshadow palette. And this one is the Trio Chrome palette. Hindi ko siya masyadong nagagamit dahil nga nasa colorful side siya. And I think this is the perfect opportunity na gamitin ko tong palette na to. At least man lang magamit ko siya kahit papano kasi sayang naman yung money. So for this look, I want it to be a parang cut ay lifted look. So, iniisip ko, it's gonna be a simple one. Lalagay lang tayo ng winged liner para mas cut ay talaga yung itsura niya. And we're gonna start with the shade tungsten. Ito yung gagawin nating transition shade natin. So, I'm just focusing it sa outer part ng eyes ko. And then, makikita niyo na yung strokes na ginagawa ko is more of a parang lifting stroke. As in, iniisip ko lagi na kailangan ko siya magmukhang cut ay magmukhang winged out, magmukhang lifted. Kaya pataas talaga yung angle ko. And the pigment is focused more on the outer part of my eye. Tapos, we're gonna take the shade Kinetic. Ito yung sparkling purple blue shift shade dito sa palette na to. Tapos, we're gonna put it all over the lids. And then, we're gonna take yung shade na manganese and then lalagay natin siya sa outer part. We're gonna add a little bit more depth pa para lang mas flawless yung itsura niya later pag nilagyan natin siya ng winged liner. Kahit na matatakpan siya somewhat, gusto ko lang na meron pang depth dun sa outer part na yun. Okay, so medyo nakukulangan ako dito sa purple glimmer effect ng multi-chrome palette. So we're gonna jump over to another palette. This is the Mercury Retrograde palette from Huda Beauty. And I'm gonna take the shade Ultraviolet. Dadagdagan lang natin ng konting dimension yung eyes. And then, I'm gonna take the shade Nebula and then dadagdagan pa natin siya ng dimension. Dadagdagan pa natin siya ng glittery effect. For the inner corners, mix natin yung Cosmic and Galaxy and then yun yung inner corners natin. Gaya ng ano sabi ko kanina, we're gonna be doing a winged eyeliner look. And yung favorite ko na eyeliner right now is from Strokes Beauty Lab, yung Wing Flick eyeliner nila. So, this is a liquid eyeliner and it has a very, very fine tip na perfect to create yung mga wing liner look. We're gonna do a little bit of a big wing liner. So, let's pray to the wing liner gods na mapantay ko sila and magawa ko. Hindi ako magsasalita habang ginagawa ko, ha? And yan na, ito na yung wing. They're not perfect, hindi sila twin. Sisters lang. Hindi masyadong pantay yung angle, but it's fine. Lalagay naman tayo ng lashes, so I think it would look good pa rin. For my lashes, favorite ko pa rin talaga yung L'Oreal Lash Paradise na mascara. It gives volume and length, and hindi siya crumbly or anything like that. Plus, super waterproof niya, as in walang hulas talaga siya for me. Tapos, for false lashes, alam nyo na yan, yung gagamitin ko is from Paul Lash in the Style Dam. For this one, ikakat ko lang siya ng medyo maikli kasi gusto ko na focus yung lashes dito sa outer part dahil nga cut eye look yung gagawin natin. Yan, so ito yung itsura niya. Very cut eye, very lifted look, and then very purple look. Ngayon, punta na tayo sa brows. Alam nyo na yung favorite brow products ko or yung brow kit that I always use is from Strokes Beauty Lab also, yung premium brow kit nila. I won't show you na kung paano ko ginagawa yung brows ko. Just check out my review. Ganun ko siya ginagamit up until now. Ganun na ganun pa rin. So, I won't bore you in this video na. For my contour, bronzer, something, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty na cream bronzer. Bronzer ba to or ano? Yeah, cream bronzer in macchiato. I like this product kasi it melts into the skin. Tapos yung shade niya is perfect for bronzing slash contouring. Yan. So, I use a brush na medyo manipis na stippling brush. Duo fiber brush. Para makontour ko ng maganda yung cheeks. Yan. So, very subtle yung contour niya. Nothing too harsh. Very natural pa rin. Pero it adds shape. Then yung jaw din, syempre. 
And then of course, yung inspiration ng buong look na to, we're gonna be using the Crush Blush in Fatal from Strokes Beauty Lab as our blush. This is a purple na blush, but very nice pa rin talaga siya sa cheeks. Hindi naman siya not wearable. Akala lang natin, pero super parang high fashion nung look niya. That's why I like it. Purple. Ito nyo yun. Tapos agad. <laughs> Bilis. <laughs> Then, take lang natin yung other brush na ginamit natin for contour. And then, we're just gonna blend it. Bilis lang naman. Ganyan, ganyan lang. Tapos, gaya nga nung sabi ko kanina, I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath na palette. Yung highlighting pink duo chrome shade. It's gonna be a little bit weird kasi pink talaga siya. But, wala. Sabi ko nga, intergalactic look tayo today. Kaya, yeah. It's a fun look. So, go lang tayo ng go. Experiment lang. Ganda. See, it's pink. It's not that wearable. Pero, why not? Kung gusto mo naman mag sa labas, why not? Ayan. So, pink yung reflex niya. I think it looks good with a purple na blush. For my lips, I'm gonna be using the Colourpop Lippy Pencil in Lumiere. So, kanina, pinag-iisipan ko kung magda-dark lips ba ako or magla-light. I decided to go with a medyo tamed down dahil lang ang dami na nangyayari sa face natin. Baka magmukha na akong clown, mukha na monster instead of intergalactic. <laughs> so, I feel like ang tagal ko nang hindi ginagamit yung product na to. But, it's something na sobrang gusto ko din talaga which is yung Essien Conal. Hydra Gloss in Surf. Maganda din yung ibang shades nila, but for today, dahil ito yung color ng lips natin, ito lang yung ilalagay ko para lang may gloss. And then, para iset yung face ko, yung gagamitin ko today is the Elana Cosmetics Stay Fresh Setting Spray. Sobrang gusto ko tong product na to. Hindi ko nga maalala kung na-mention ko na ba siya ever sa channel ko na I love this setting spray. Kasi this one, it has very good ingredients. As in, healthy for the skin. Walang mga fragrance, wala no mga ganon. Tapos, it has this effect na parang minamatify niya. Hindi nga matify. Parang pinaperfect niya yung itsura ng makeup. Parang mukha kang filtered. Mukha kang parang powdered pero hindi dry. Kasi yung pa yung sinasabi ko. Basta ganun yung effect niya for me. They also have yung hydrating one. I like that also. Pero dahil sa look natin today, ayoko masyado maging glowy-glowy look kahit na intergalactic nga yung look natin. Hindi ganun yung gusto ko gawin sa face ko. Gusto ko perfected yung look niya. And kung makikita nyo, paubos na siya. Dero. And kahit na paubos na siya, meron na akong you know it. Wait, hindi ko makuha. Back up! As in, nung nag-sale yung Elana, bumili na talaga ako. Kasi I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't live without it. Kailangan talaga. I want it. Kailangan meron na ako niyan. Yan, so basically, ito na yun. This is my final intergalactic <laughs> look for today and I like it. So, papalitan lang natin yung earrings natin. I'm gonna wear something a little more futuristic and not simple. Para lang cute, cute yung look. Yeah! So, there. This is the final look. I like it. Parang ang wearable nga niya. Parang masusuot mo pa rin siya sa labas. Hindi daytime. Siguro kung pa-party ka, tugs-tugs. Do wala naman na mga party ngayon. But yeah, I like it. I'm so happy with it. It's a purple look. Inspired by the Strokes Beauty Lab Crush Blush. Blush. Huh? Oy, nag-shoot ako! Anyways, as I, as I, <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, yun nga, this is inspired by the Crush Blush Blush by Strokes Beauty Lab in Fatal dahil Ay, nako, it's my favorite talaga. Natuwa talaga ako. If you haven't watched yet, may review ako on that one. And this is the look inspired by that blush. And I also used all my current favorite makeup, yung mga usual na ginagamit ko. And I like how it looks. That's the look. Yun na! I hope you enjoyed this video. Hindi siya review, hindi siya anything like that. But yeah, I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed getting a little bit more creative and 
wala lang. I missed also playing with makeup kasi ang tagal ko din talaga nag-break. Parang medyo nawala na ako ng inspiration. Hindi ako masyado mahilig sa makeup nung past month nung hindi ako nag upload But we're here. I'm getting inspiration again. I'm happy again doing my makeup and everything. So yeah, thank you for watching my video. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down below anything you want. If you have any video requests, go lang. As always, I link everything down below. And yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Bye! Thank you! Thank you!